Okay, gentlemen, you received my instructions in dressing room. Therefore, I expect a clean, professional fight. Once you watch your heads, watch your low blows. Listen to my commands at all times. I want you to touch gloves, go back to your corner, wait for the bell. Early in his career, Evander Holyfield used to take opponents to the woodshed. Later in his career, he's been trying to take them to school. Yesterday, he indicated that maybe he has to rethink all of this school stuff. So let's see if he tries to recapture some of his youth against a conventional opponent. George, does Rock's new sleek 224-pound body mean that he's definitely going to be boxing, moving, and staying outside? It wouldn't hurt him to box and move, I tell you that. Holyfield is not a good aggressor. He does best when you bring the fight to him. So you want to move around, just step and jab. Step and jab and wait until he make a mistake. He's not able to get away from right hands like he used to. Holyfield has got to make certain that he, if he get hit with anything, it's a left hook because this guy's got nothing on the left hook. It's the right hand you got to beware of. In his big win over Lewis in South Africa, Rachman threw many jabs by CompuBox numbers, 28 per round. In his loss to Lewis in Las Vegas, he was much less active with the jab, and that created new opportunities for Lennox. It's good that Rachman is faster, though. With a little weight off him, he can bounce around every now and then. popping to the body in the first minute. Rockman working the jab upstairs. Holyfield sends an airmail right too long. You see Holyfield, he has his big punches, that left hook to the body. It's too bad he's never been able to get that same power on top with the left hook. Mainly because he's had to reach it, big guys, and that's why. But he is being more aggressive than we've seen him in some recent fights. That's where Rockman can just take his time and let that right hand go if Holyfield decides to step in constantly. Holyfield has got to make certain if this fight goes beyond four rounds and he's laying some good body shots because this guy can hit Rockman. Holyfield sometimes looked slow and lethargic in his three battles with John Reeves. He has so far looked lively and energetic in round one here tonight. Good body work by Rockman right there. As that terrifying left hook that Holyfield tries to get in. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Step back. Step back out of there. That is, make Holyfield step forward. If he steps forward trying to jab or throw shots, Rockman can nail him all night. Just don't go after Evander Holyfield. Step around to the side. Stiff left hand by Rockman. Doubling up on the jab there. Rock with a good active showing in the first round. Holyfield mashing him with that left hook inside. Two lands for Holyfield. Rachman came back with a left hand of his own. Holyfield working to the body and Rachman feeling it as round one comes to a close. A hell of a round it was, too. Put on your head. Put him down. Tell me what that gun Get that hand out of that quick. Okay. Okay. After your combination, you must have your hands in position. Okay? okay? And make those circles to make them fast. All right? Make them fast. Mm -hmm. Anything in twos and threes, not no big shots. Okay? Uh -huh. And the jab's going to lead you all the way. Okay? Keep that jab working your home seat, baby. Good jab. Use that thing. Make it yeah, we go. Okay, take this. Okay? Mm -hmm. You'll be home free, son. CompuBox estimate, I should say CompuBox estimates in round one. Holyfield 14 out of 41. Rockman 20 out of 49. Both guys had their moments. Both guys threw the jab in the neighborhood of 20 times and landed it about 25% of the time. Pretty even looking round by the numbers. Rockman's corner has got him backing up just a little bit, which is good. Evidently, he's got a counter punch as a trainer. A trainer 
making a counter punch out of it. And the good thing about this fight for Rockman is that Holyfield is fighting like a heavyweight. His big gift used to be he fought like a light heavyweight in a heavyweight title fight. So that his activity level was difficult for some heavyweights to deal with. That's right, but not any longer. As a matter of fact, Rockman is able to sneak in jabs, throw one shot, and Evander is still in the same position. Holyfield waits to counter with that right hand. The contrast you described, Holyfield better as a defender than an attacker, was illustrated in the four fights against Lewis and Tyson. Holyfield beating Tyson twice, a man who would come to him and attack, twice having difficulty with Lewis, who sat back and waited for Evander to attack him. Rockman has better turn on some power now because he's not landing any body shots to take away Holyfield's explosiveness later on in the fight. Work out, work out of there. Good jab to the body. Rockman's being schooled. Whoa, and the right hand on top. That's what you want to do if you're Rockman. Go to the jab to the body. Jab to the body. Make him protect his body and then go on top with your right hand. Not likely to get a chance to get a running start on a right hand here the way he did in knocking on, Lewis out no. in South Africa. He Work caught out, Lewis out. falling asleep. Come on, let me go at it. So way to go. Combination by Holyfield. Rockman again going to the body inside. Let go. All right, break. Go punch in. Step back clean. Step back clean. Good jab together. Rockman's got the better of it. Part of Rockman's success in South Africa, he out jabbed the jabber in the first few rounds against Lewis. And that helped to create the tentativeness in Lewis that gave him the chance for the big knockout. But Holyfield will never be tentative. He keeps coming. Break. No Rockman didn't like that left hook. That hurt him that time. Round two comes to a close. Next Saturday night, we remind you, heavyweight champion Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson finally face off one of the most talked about fights in the past five years. Lewis looking to a win over Tyson to prove once and for all that he's the best of his era. Tyson looking to recapture the magic that made him one of the most exciting, crowd-pleasing heavyweights of all time. Lewis Tyson is on next Saturday night on pay-per-view. And tonight, stick with us after the conclusion of this fight when we'll have a conversation with Lennox Lewis from Memphis, where he has arrived in preparation for the big fight. Tyson, incidentally, has also arrived and settled in in Memphis, Tennessee. Jabs working good. Good Watch the deep big right hand. Watch the big right hand. That's deep what he's looking now. for. Give me a big one. Come on, give me a big one. Bump him hard. Make him The boardwalk center. Totally refurbished, beautiful facility. It's not entirely new. It's built within the shell of the old Atlantic City Convention Center, but uh, a, a far more glamorous environment than used to be the case. And uh, big crowd here tonight to watch Evander Holyfield in what may be the twilight of his career. That was a right fight. hand. That was a right hand that hurt Rockman. And he picked Evander Holyfield up by the legs to conceal it. Better make sure he get his, he his head up out of there. Holyfield connected with the left hook inside, too. And now Rockman starts to back away, and Holyfield nails him with a right cross. Holyfield pushing Rockman into the corner. Holyfield trying to peel the years away, fighting as aggressively as he is. Can he sustain it? Break. One thing Step about back. throwing that Step many back. punches, and you're not the bigger guy as Holyfield is, you need a rest. you got to take a breather for a second, and that's when Rockman should jump right back on him. 
You got to make him pay as soon as he throws five punches. Five, get right, back on, on it. Ever since the middle of career of his career, Evander Holyfield, despite his extraordinary conditioning, has often fought in spurts, 20, 30 seconds at a time, then back right. off, step seemingly back, needing back. to on, regain right. his energy. Well, he's basically a middleweight built up with fine conditioning and weightlifting and good nutrition. Some of these guys are naturally big. All they are just big. Their feet are big. Their heads are big. And they, when you throw three, three shots at them, you get tired. So you're saying Holyfield's size is self-manufactured rather than natural. But you know, in the, everybody should be manufactured like that by themselves. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> And what about the notion that he wasn't really a big heavyweight puncher, George? Well, he had he made up for it in a big heart. Heavyweights, no matter how big they are, they can't take these big hearts. Here you go! Nah, nah, come on. Now let's hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. First minute of the round was big for Evander Holyfield. Now in the second minute of the round, his pace has slowed, and Rockman is back go, into it. Yeah, Holyfield on, was able go. to land some punches, but it took more out of him than it did Rockman. Come on, work out of there. Let's After go. he Come finished on. beating Rockman up, Rockman came, pushed him into the corner, and started hitting him back. Good left inside by Holyfield. Digging to the rib cage again. Seem Rockman has a strong body. Evander Holyfield seems determined to test it as no other fighter has. And Rockman is a next football player, too. Those football players, they're accustomed to bumping shoulders with people, running into them, whether they, and they don't get hurt. Yeah, but they're not accustomed to being whacked in the belly and the liver. Nobody is. <laughs> they whack you in the liver in football. In the belly, too. <laughs> Rock, baby, you land too far away. Let this guy lead. You need to lead, son. Okay? Relax a little bit. Relax a little bit. Give me the thing to tweed before you do Tweed, and later on we'll start loading up. You can hook Your feet move right under here. You hit him three or four times in a row. Your hook will eat him up. Your hook will eat him up, but watch that right hand because he's still fighting. Against the limited John Ruiz, Holyfield was smothered, and you never or rarely saw him in this kind of attitude in the ring against a more conventional fighter like Rahman, a boxer puncher who wants to give and take. He can operate, and Evander Holyfield is operating. CompuBox numbers in round three, a big round for Holyfield in the power punching category. Holyfield 18 out of 28 in power punches in round three, including many body shots early in the round, which seemed to take something out of Rachman. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through three? <laughs> okay, Jim, was I heard to say Evander Holyfield couldn't pull the trigger? Man, I tell you, in the second and the third round, Evander Holyfield pulled the trigger. Two rounds to one, 29-28 Evander Holyfield. Sensational left hooks, good right hands by Evander Holyfield. Clean punches that the judges couldn't miss. Winning rounds two and three. Rackman, the busier guy in the first round. Yeah, every time he's gone out into the fight, Holyfield, his corner is said to him, just watch the right hand. He believes, apparently, that the only way he can lose to Rockman is with that right hand. And Rockman doesn't throw a left hook. And right now, if he can avoid it, it looks like he can have a heck of a night. You know, earlier this evening, I spoke off camera to a guy who fought both of them, Lennox Lewis. I said, who do you like tonight? He said, I got a hunch on the old man tonight. He said, logic says Rockman. But something in my heart tells me Evander will be big tonight. So far, Lennox is right. All right, break. Step back. Uh, let's be careful, guys. Come on. They talk about Evander Holyfield watching that right hand, but he's not doing much of moving away from it at all. As a matter of fact, I find him in harm's way most of the time. It's just that Rockman is not getting off with that right hand. Evander so proud of his ability to roll with punches, he thinks he can roll from anything. But he got nailed with the right hand right there. There it is again. Uppercut lands for Holyfield. Rockman has landed the right hand four times in the round. Get off, get off. Come on. Come on, Rockman, get them in. 
Holyfield. Rockman has got to know that when Holyfield starts leaning in like that, he may be hurt. Don't think he's looking for a leverage. Vander starts trying to go back to the body to slow Rockman's attack upstairs. There's another vicious left hook to the ribcage by Holyfield. Watch your head, gentlemen. This is when Rockman should be fighting. This guy cannot throw five shots and then do anything after. Holyfield throws three good shots. He's right, right, right. got to no take his breath. No, no punching, no well, there goes the dancing, bobbing, counter-punching, and weaving Rockman. He's gone now as Rockman leans in and slugs with Evander on the inside. Now, I don't know why, but he's right, not right, opening right, up. I right, thought right, the 200 right. and what, 24 pounds elbows, should have been a little better for him to move around and catch Holyfield when he backs up like Maybe that. the body shots have taken the foot movement away. Holyfield is throwing roundhouses. All of that benefits Rockman because it takes so much out of him. Holyfield busting Rockman on the top of the head with the right hand. Rock looking to set up another right cross before the round ends. You got a lot more weapons. Focus. You gotta don't stay focused. Come on, you gotta, don't get off your jab. You started getting off your jab that round, and that's why he is able to take you to the ropes and throw the right hand. Don't get off your jab. Keep your left hand high and keep your head moving. Your best aim. Oh, it's nothing, but it's a cut. Oh, it's nothing, but it's a cut. 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 All right, that was a straight right hand. You can see that the way Holyfield tries to defend the right hand sometimes is with his right across the top. And just as he did in South Africa, but with less effect, Rachman threaded through his defense. Meanwhile, you saw the referee, Tony Orlando, and the ring doctor in Rachman's corner to examine what appears to be a nick over Rachman's left eye. You heard the discussion, and apparently Orlando agreeing that the nick must have come from a headbutt rather than a punch. Not sure how he knows, but that seemed to be the determination. Rachman complained as soon as he was headbutted. They ran heads together. He complained. The referee knew about it. Rockman has got to get back on his jab. Don't worry about the right hand. Let the right hand come to you. Left hook by Holyfield after a right hand by Rockman. Energy levels just about equal in there. No Ten year age gap not showing up so far. An old man has no right to be fighting this way. We got to get some of Evander Holyfield's DNA and implant it in a few other heavyweights. <laughs> now you go. Rockman is successful with his jab. Holyfield misses with a roundhouse left. Watch your head. Why? Keep the head out of there. This is a real courageous and brave fight by Rockman, being that he was just stopped by another champion not too long ago. He's coming back like he's never been off. Yesterday, Hasim Rockman said, I don't just want to win. I want to look good in the fight. I want it to be a great fight. I want people to be interested in what I'm doing in there. I don't need to knock him out. I just need to make a big impression in this fight. He can do that if he, whenever Evander Holyfield lands three shot, keeps his hand up, he can get him with four afterwards because Evander's not in a position to defend himself after he throws four punches. Hard right hand by Rockman. Busted Holyfield on the chin. Evander again shows his enormous ability as he's shown throughout his career to take a punch. He's always been able to take. You just don't want to take too many of them. For the first time in the fight, 
There are subtle signs that Holyfield is slowing down just a bit. More and more frequently, he throws one punch at a time instead of backing up the punch with a combination. There's another big right hand. Another big right hand by The Rock. Evander with his own right hand. Don't count me out yet, he says. Saturday night on pay-per-view, it's Lennox Lewis versus Mike Tyson in a long way to match up for the heavyweight championship. June 22, HBO pay-per-view, the rematch of 2000's Fight of the Year when Eric Morales takes on Marco Antonio Barrera in a 126-pound showdown. And on June 29 on HBO, heavyweight Vladimir Klitschko continues his quest for a possible title shot. Klitschko will do battle with the always tough Ray Mercer. HBO, the heart and soul of boxing. They're keeping your right hand high, okay? Give me that faint. Give me that faint. Walk into the left. Keep the, Keep the right Stop hand high. Up. Up. Keep bumping. Don't stand in front of him. You don't need to. This guy leans don't all over. Off the hook after you Come on, let's go. Get back on him. One more time, the big weapon of Rockman. A straight right hand. Box numbers in round five. Both fighters threw fewer than 40 punches. The base begins to slow just a little bit. Holyfield landing 15. Rockman landing 16. Very even round. Harold Letterman scoring the fight. Barely even so far. Round six of a scheduled 12. Holyfield has better make sure if he's going to throw a right hand, he better come back with a left hook because if he stays out there, this guy will beat him with the right. Big right hand by Holyfield. Sets up two left including an uppercut that knocks Rockman back. Holyfield sensing the moment. Another big left hook upstairs. Rockman not yet punching back. Now the Rock starts to throw. A break. Step back, step back. Now Rockman has got to start throwing punches. After Holyfield throws five shots, he's no good. That's why you see him holding right now. Rockman has got to start throwing shots. Well said, George. Holyfield taking one of those breathers now after the big offensive rally. This is Rockman's chance to come right back at him. But Rock is letting that Let's moment hold. pass. Let's hold. Let's go. Let him go. Well, you don't get many go. moments in these big fights oh, like this when you got punches. You got to take advantage of them while they're there. If you've watched Evander Holyfield at all over these past eight years, you know there's usually a lull after the storm. That's your opportunity. Whoa. Rock with a straight right. Now he doesn't even know. He's not even aware that he's hurting. He had a big smile on his face as he, just after he landed that. I got you, old guy. Now go back to your jab if you're Rockman. Just keep the jab going. He always gets the best of the jab. Step back, step back. Gentlemen, watch your head. <laughs> they trade jabs there, and Holyfield out jabs Rockman two to one. Oh, come on, step back. Come on. Well, that referee is going to have a lot of work on his hand tonight. <laughs> Rockman is doing a counter punchy now. Break. Step back, step back. Over and over and over. Rockman with the one two. Right, Brett, one two. On, Jab right cross. As George pointed out at the top of the show, or at the beginning of the fight, I should say, Rockman doesn't do much with the left hook. Oh, if you're gonna if you hold it field, you just, just stay around on that left side. Stay around on that left side. If he stays on Rockman's left arm, he's just out of harm's way all night. Don't give the round away in the last 20 seconds. Okay. Don't go, don't, don't, don't stop. Don't get passive the last 20 seconds. Okay. Don't do that. Okay. You want to hustle that last 20 seconds. You understand? Okay. When you hit him with a one-two like you did, 
Hit him with three more punches right now. That's right. That's right. Very good, mm -hmm. Rock. How you do? Take that. Read it. Read one. Don't let him on that left side, Rock. Even inside, Rock. Don't let him on your left side. You get to the side, he's going to headbutt you and look for the hook. Early in the round, Holyfield did some serious business. Did it carry him through the round and earn him the 10-9? How even could this fight be? CompuBox numbers in the sixth. They both landed 19 punches. They both threw right about 40. Holyfield 39, Rockman 40. Crowd oohs and dahs again. Harold, how do you have it through six? <laughs> okay, Jim, I agree. I got it all even. 57-57, three rounds apiece. Harsim Rockman came back and, you know, he Rick, rides a van to Holyfield across the ring. He used to do that very early in his career. He's real good at it. Just like George Foreman said, he leaves that shoulder into you and whacks you with the free hand. A van to Holyfield can't, you know, can't ride Rockman across the ring because Rockman's stronger. But in round six, a van, I think, stole it with that early rally. So three rounds apiece. I have the same score. What I can understand is Rockman is so successful with his left jab and he hardly throws it. Now these jabs he can't miss. Maybe he doesn't want to get hit by that right hand, George. Oh, he's in no harm as long as he's throwing that left jab. Nothing is going to happen to him. And you heard Rockman's corner echoing George Foreman saying, don't let him get around on your left side. George pointing out, as he has, that if Foreman is on Rockman's left side, he's safe. Right, yep. Rock doesn't use back. the left hook. Holyfield should do good to stay to the left, but evidently he has problem moving to, to his right, Holyfield does. Right, he doesn't work. like to do it, and if you move work to his out. left, he doesn't have problem. He can't see you well. successful left jab. And there's a big left hook by Holyfield. Stops Rockman in his tracks. Left to the body. Left hook upstairs. Holyfield trying to attack and seal the deal. Rockman comes back. Now Rockman has got to pour it on. This is his time to pour it on. Looked like a big swelling on Rockman's head. There is a huge knot on Rockman's head above his left eye. That's what the doctors were getting ready to look at a couple rounds ago, obviously. Head, That's what came from the bump. That's another bump. Step back, step back. Let him go, let him go. Can you imagine Holyfield has him up against the rope, throwing a lot of shots, and has Holyfield holding on? That's what you want. Make him throw those shots. All right, Frank, come on. Xander, keep that head. Right, so you think the lump on Rockman's head came from another butt? Yeah, they've been, they've been bumping heads all night. And I can how distracting is it to Rockman to have something like this? Well, this is his moment of truth. He can't even let anything distract him now. He's got to go for it. Yeah, he's feeling it. He's feeling it. You see him rubbing it with the glove. And Holyfield hits it with the right hand. That's about as nasty a bump as I've ever seen above a fighter's eye, almost on the forehead. There it is. You can work with that, though. If you're a good corner man, you can work with that. Miguel good. Diaz. That's about as good a corner man as yeah. you'll find right there working you on it. You can work with that because there's no chance to blow your nose, but that, that thing is moving up there. Uh, let's see where they butted. Well, there are two fighters fighting at close quarters coming in at each other. Oh, ah, that is. There it is, right on the spot. Yep. Holyfield is a rough fighter, not a dirty fighter. When you fight him at close quarters, get ready. Almost anything goes. Well, various opponents throughout Evander's career have complained that he butted, but most ringside experts agree Evander doesn't seem to try to foul on purpose. It's just the way he fights. He's there. He's coming. If you go inside with him, it's going to be rough. Let's keep our eye on it and see if that's true.
He's trying to take the 29-year-old to the woodshed. Rockwell's holding on for dear life. Yeah, the old lion sees a wounded creature in front of him, and that seems to have energized him. Well, remember, this happened to Rockland in Africa. Lewis thought he had him hurt. Played around with him, and he ran into that magic right hand. But Evander's not just waiting for one big punch the way Lewis did in South Africa. He's going. He's continuously throwing shot. And he's not giving Rockman any room to do the things that Rock does best. Jab, throw the right hand. That knot is amazing. But it doesn't seem to be bothering Rockman. Yeah, you can feel it on your head. You get those things like that, it irritates you good. That is one of the most grotesque things I've ever seen yeah. on a prize fighter. Yeah. What is the danger of that? George, can you tell? Yeah, I think maybe that got cracked a little uh, skull. You know, you got bones up there. Sometimes you can get into those bones and make things feel better. I wouldn't let him fight anymore if I was a referee. That thing is going to go all the way down to his eyes. It's a collection, it's a collection of blood under there. Okay? Right. We're not going to go not dangerous to you, but if you feel you can't see, then you shouldn't continue. I'll be shooting. I'll be shooting. Uh, Larry. 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 Okay, we're going to stop the fight, I believe. The doctor said to Rachman, it's not dangerous, but if you can't oh, see the oh, fight, stop it. And we're going to score cards. Okay. Yes. And it's a accident in the Okay. Okay. We're going to go to the scorecards. Got to go to the scorecards. Right. Okay. The Jersey State Athletic Commission chairman Larry Hazard giving the instructions to referee Tony Orlando. Orlando makes the signal there. The fight is going to be stopped right here. They'll go to the scorecards and determine a winner. The doctors. Yeah, the doctor said to Rachman, the bump isn't dangerous, but if you can't see, the fight should stop. And Rachman said something to the effect that it was affecting his eyesight, and that's why they stopped the fight. Harold Letterman, your take on this. Okay, Jim, I got to tell you what may determine this fight. Now, this is a guess, but I think it's an educated guess. When you stop a fight in the middle of the round, you have to score the round in which the fight is stopped. Now, obviously, Evander Holofield wins round eight, 10 to nine. This might be a big factor in this thing. I mean, I've got it right now, uh, five rounds to three in favor of Holofield. I mean, because of the fact that he won that eighth round. Ratman did nothing but, but protect the, uh, the, the lump in the eighth round. Now, as far as the corner goes, Miguel Diaz was using an end swell. When you get a lump like like that you gotta have an ice bag ready you have just like he has on it right now you gotta have a big ice bag but between round seven and eight he used the end swell wrong way to treat that george you're uh, you're satisfied they're doing exactly the right thing with this because exactly of the exactly the right Rock thing i think this is more than fair go to the scorecards this guy cannot continue it was an accidental hit but this is going to be a fair decision here's the butt once again that's the clash of heads which produced the swelling. That's the second one. You can see the swelling begin immediately after that clash of heads. I mean, the swelling has already begun within seconds there after the clash of heads you saw in that replay. And yes, you're right, George. That was the second one. Yeah. That was not the one which occasioned the doctor's it, first visit over to Rockman's Corner a little bit earlier. There's got to be something seriously wrong with that eye to have that kind of swelling. I saw that in a fight between Randall Bailey and Denaire Julio in Miami two years ago on the undercard of Felix Trinidad against Mamadou Tiam. And later I had a chance to ask Bailey how much it bothered him. And he said, you know, I wasn't really all that conscious of it during the fight. He said, when I got to the locker room afterward, I couldn't believe it because I looked, you know, misshapen as though my face had completely changed. Yeah, you don't have a mirror when you're out there in the ring. So you just have to guess. Yeah, that Rock, Rock has no way of knowing exactly how that feels, but he's been touching it with his gloves, but of course, he can't feel anything can't through his gloves. It. Meanwhile, they're totaling up the scorecards here to see if Evander Holyfield has gotten a huge and rejuvenating win in his career, albeit 
the impact of the win may be diminished by the circumstances under which he gets it. Right, George? That's right. And that's good that they got a similar promoter. That means a rematch. It was a good fight. It deserves a rematch. It was a good fight. It was a great matchup that was bringing out terrific stuff from both fighters. Do or die. Each fighter's had to produce tonight or he's out of the picture. Maybe the scorecards will be even. <laughs> that wouldn't hurt anything either. A grinning Don Turner above us. And uh, Turner's probably smiling because of the performance of his fighter, Evander Holyfield, who looked like a lively young Colt in there much of the time. Oh, yeah, he was fighting like a big super heavyweight, not fighting like the little light heavyweight. With not any weight. He's well, I guess he's finally settled into this thing, huh? Yeah, I guess he said, look, I'm not going to lose weight. I'm not going down. I'm a heavyweight. <laughs> 216 pounds and looking like a sleek, customized roadster. And tonight with some new gas in the tank. Caution about the head from the beginning. That was one of our concerns from the beginning. One question Rachman will have to answer for himself and for others after the fight. Why did he agree to fight Evander Holyfield at close quarters rather than to stay outside, box him, and use his jab? Did he have a choice, George? I think that he was doing the right kind of fight. This bump just kind of messed things up to hit, but this guy was able to withstand Holyfield's combinations and then come back. But later on, I mean, the hit button, you mix that into the, get that into the mix, and then things don't, don't go well. Well, Tyson in particular was one fighter who complained that Holyfield butts. Um, have you ever seen it intentionally? Well, you seem to go to the same spot all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go guy. to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to see what the official scorecard said. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at 1 minute 40 seconds in round number 8 due to an accidental headbutt. Our position at ringside ruling that Rockman, suffering from a severe hematoma is unable to continue. Therefore, we go to the scorecards. Judge at ringside, Steve Weisfeld scores about 69 to 64 in favor of Evander Holyfield. Judge at ringside, Malvina Lathan scores about 67 to 66 in favor of Hasim Rahman. Judge at ringside, John Stewart scores about 69 to 64 in favor of the technical decision winner, Evander, the real deal Holyfield. Harold Letterman. You said they had to score the eighth round. You have to score the partial round. They were entirely wrong. Now listen to me. If you score, if you could knock a guy down 15 times or something like that in the eighth round, you got to get credit for those knockdowns. You must score the partial round, period. And I know those rules inside and out. I would question Commissioner Larry has it about the eighth round. However, it's a moot point, isn't Correct. it? It is Because Holyfield would have exactly. won the eighth by all logic, with, with and the decision would have remained the same. Correct. Correct.